Hey guys, what's going on? It's me again. I just got back from doing like a photo shoot of sorts and I just got, well, I just got back from doing a photo project. It's a really tedious one and I'm not going to get much into it, but I have another product review. This time it is going to be from a new line that I've never really heard of. It's called the Josie Moran line and I never really heard of it until I was doing a Google search about argan oil and it came up. So I decided to check it out. What you see in front of you, this right here is the Josie Moran Argan Tinted Moisturizer. This is what the bottle looks like. It is 1.7 fluid ounce, it has SPF 30, and it's available as of now. It's only available in two places that I know, and that's online on its website, Josie Moran cosmetics.com I'll put it in the description and it's also available at Sephora at Sephora it is $38 plus tax so it's pretty expensive but not as expensive as another tinted moisturizer I'm going to mention later but I end up picking this up because well if you guys follow my blog long well, and maybe I didn't mention this before, but I'm not really a big fan of makeup. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to hairstyles and stuff in general, okay? So naturally, I enjoy the natural look. The look where it makes you look like you have no makeup at all. And so I find myself gravitating towards tinted moisturizers, BB creams, and CC creams because they give me that ability. But so far, because my skin is oily to combination, I haven't been able to find the right one for me. That won't make me look like I just ran a marathon and I'm sweating furiously. So, with that being said, I decided to pick this little guy up. Just to see how, how it would do. And originally, I was going to go with the Laura Mercier um, oil-free tinted moisturizer, which is like $44. And that's insane. But... I was going to go with that until I saw this and I decided to give it a shot. The shade you see here is Dark One, as it says on the bottom in the back here. This is Dark One. This is the darkest shade that is available in this line. There are six shades in total. And I ended up picking this after testing it out at Sephora. So I decided to give it a shot. What I can say about this is that this stuff works pretty well. It does have even coverage. It does have even coverage the more you spread it on your face. And it can easily be removed with water. You don't need any makeup remover or anything fancy like that. All you have to do is continue splashing your face with water. And then just wipe it off with some tissues or a paper towel. That's how I usually get mine off. So it covers very well. And yes, it does have SPF 30. As you can probably see on the bottle again it does have SPF 30 which is with the um, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide no chemicals in it and it does have argan oil so usually every time that I pull this stuff off my face basically doesn't feel tight dry or anything around that the only problems that I have with this tinted moisturizer is that um, well yeah, it, it's thick. It's like really, 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 really thick. I don't know if I can really show you this, but let me show you. Um, as you can see, yeah, it's it's almost like a foundation of sorts. Let me see here. Sorry about that. I don't know if you can actually see. So I'll just zoom in for you. As you can kind of see, it just looks like a foundation, like makeup of sorts. And that's sort of the way that I didn't like it. Give me a moment, please. Sorry, guys, I'm looking for a tissue. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go grab a piece of paper towel in order to wipe my finger off, but you can kind of see how thick it is. And because it's so thick, it almost feels like I'm wiping foundation or spreading foundation on my face every time I apply it. I don't really like that. I don't like the fact that it's thick. I, I wish it could be a little more liquidy and not like some paste. And it's also, and because it's thick, it's also hard to squeeze out of the bottle. And on top of that, it... It does give my face a nice, natural, flawless look, 
but throughout the day it's just I don't know it just on a on some sort of note it slightly makes me look like I just ran a marathon and started sweating and I really really don't like that so other than those problems I can't really see myself buy this purchase this thing again I mean it's a great tinted moisturizer and if you never tried tinted moisturizers I would point you in this direction direction of this product and ask you to give it a shot let you give it a shot and see if it works for your skin this comes in six shades uh, from the lightest ivory shade to the darkest which is dark one here and you can find us for $38 plus tax I wouldn't really purchase this again I'm still on the hunt for for the best tinted moisturizer for my skin so all in all it's a good product but it's not something I'm pri probably gonna fork over a bunch of money for that's pretty much my review if you tried this before let me know in the comments below let me know how it worked for you uh, more reviews and more videos will be coming up soon when I get the chance because I am seriously busy with projects and I will see you later.